Here in this video, I'll show you how to create animated icon box using only Elementor Pro version. Hey, no use any extra plugins or something. I just only use Elementor Pro version. So I will just at first just I am go to the page. Then you can see the plugin section. I am just go to the install plugins. Here you can see there is nothing. Just only Elementor. This is the Elementor Pro and this WP reset. Here is nothing. So in this video, I'll show you how to make it only Elementor Pro. So let's start the video. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am Soma from the Creative Academy. Alright, at first just take a look of these animated icons. If I am just click on reload this page, just refresh this page, here you can see this is a cool animation just, just happening in the icons. So if you are boring, you have to use this type of just fixed icons. So in this video, you will got to find that new things. You will get a new things that is the icon box. If I am just click on end, just refresh this page. If I am just click on this page, refresh this page, here you can see every icon box is just animated. Just cool, right? So now at first just me click on the new page and then creating the that how to make this type of icon box using only elementor pro version also i am not using any css also so let me just show you how to create it at first i am just make it to i am just clicking a page hover bar on page and go to the page let me just show you at first apply appearance and just if you do not do not show that appearance so this is the appearance i'm just in using astro theme you can choose any theme as your choice just using elementor pro you can just do it so don't don't depend on the astro theme or something it's not dependable so if you just hover over on page and then click on a add new page then you have to first title if i'm just writing like services icon if i'm just writing services icon like this and choosing one template that is elementor canvas because i don't want to add the header or footer or something and just click on publish and then again publish now click on i'm just view view page and then click on edit the elementor so at first just edit the elementor the elementor is reloading and the dashboard now it here is the clean and clear layout now i'm just clicking on the preview changes to the i don't want to reload this page again and again that's why i'm just clicking on this then it is just mm, elementor so now we have to just create this table. this is the only just banner section and the text and this is nothing here we have to create this icon i am just not using icon box this is just custom made like it is the icon is just this is the another part and the text it is the headings and then the description and the buttons all is just and then and the another part and everything so now if i'm just click on this plus icon and selecting one structure click on six dot icon go to the advanced tab unbind this padding and i'm giving you top to 100 pixel and then the bottom also i'm giving it to 100 pixel right now click on the style tab then background type i'm just clicking on image here so this is the image i'm choosing this now position will be center center attachment will be scrollable repeat will no repeat and size will be cover all right this is now cool so just click on update don't forget to click on update button it will all the shape your creativity just click on the plus icon and place the heading here so this is the heading so i'm just writing services now just make it to alignment center then go to the style tab text color i'm choosing white pure white then typography i'm choosing it to pure poppins font so now it's fine then this is the weight so weight i'm giving it to 800 and the transform will be upper case now it is looking fine not i'm just giving it to 700 weight now the size will be like 65 pixel now it's looking fine now again just come back to the next step that is this service section so how to make it at first just click on this plus icon then i'm selecting three column structure click on the stick zero icon again click on the advanced tab and when this padding and top i'm giving it to 50 pixel bottom i'm 50, 50 pixel right will be 50 left will be 50 sorry i'm just right into give it to 30 and the left will be 30 now it's looking fine so i'm just clicking on the plus icon again now i'm just placing the heading as like it is just normal if i'm placing the heading and then just i'm just place the heading so this is the services services name writing service name then make it to alignment center then go to the style tab text color be pure black then typography i'm giving it to poppins typography again and weight will be like uh, 500 i'm just giving it to 600 so 600 will be fine now transfer will be capitalized now it's looking fine then size will be i'm giving it to like uh, 25 pixel now it's look fine I'm just giving an increasing the decreasing the 22 so now it's fine just click on the plus 9 dot icon again and place the text editor 
between this then go to the reference tab unbind this padding right will be 30 pixel left will be 30 pixel and then go to the content go to the style tab again make it to alignment center and I'm just giving it to 20 pixel and then again left will be 20 pixel and then go to the style tab typography so typography will be I'm giving it to again pop in typography and this is the letters and line spacing I'm just in decreasing this to 0.5 now it look good then size will be I'm giving it to 14 pixel all right now at first I'm clicking on the nitro icon again then I'm placing the one button here looks good this is the icon box right so that's why I'm just giving the the buttons and everything so now just click on the advanced tab padding and margin unbind this and then top will be I'm just decreasing this to 15 pixel now it's look good just click on the style tab again and I'm just choosing the background color so I think I have saved the background color like this so all right this is the background color so I'm giving the border is to 50 35 pixel text text font will be again poppins and then the size will be I'm just giving it to 14 pixel alright this is fine now click on the hover section and then I'm just giving the hover I'm just open this is the background so background type I'm just the color will be like this color I'm just hovering sorry this is the color this is the color so I'm just I'm just using the color like this custom so now if I'm hovering so it will just come fine now it is all looking good so now if I'm just come to the animated icon so how to place the icon if I'm just choosing the one icon nine dot icon again if I'm just searching for icon that is this icon this is the normal so if I'm just pressing down so so I'm just clipping down here you can see the normal just I'm just I go to the icon already and search for like anything if I'm just writing shop so I'm just writing shop then just insert it then you can see there no shop is just come so it's not hovering or something it's not interesting if you have you have worrying about this so we have to choose modern so that that's like we have to choose animated icons so how to just do it animated icons just go to the one website that is Lord icon here you can see this is the Lord icon so you have to go to the website and just click on this website again then just it is loading so you can see this is the lord icon website so you have to just go to the website and this is almost like i think these are the kids it is the 301 free this is free icons so you can you get lots of free icons if you have want uh, premium icons if you want so please purchase the premium person then just use it if i'm just click on the browse icons because i don't want to use the premium person i just only use the free person so you can see this is the free version just click on free icons then you can see lots of just icons just here so you can use it as well so now if i'm just writing anything like if i'm just writing go to the i'm writing just e-commerce if i'm just click on the e-commerce this is the 14 icon is available in e-commerce so writing this you can just use the open box so if you want to use it just click on the colors then choose the color if i'm just writing choose the colors again and just click on apply now it is just applied here you can see this is applied when you're writing click on this then you can see the black version is how your looks like in the black version that's why it is just showing now if i'm just click on the color second and if i'm choosing like this and then click on apply it is just applied fine now just click on the download button then you can see lots of just things so you have to don't do nothing just click on this lottie let me explain you how why i'm just choosing lottie this one i'm just clicking to lottie download it just click on it then it will automatically download it you can see this is downloaded now go to the website again go to the elementor dashboard now i'm just deleting this then search for this is the nine just the search for lottie again you can see this is the lottie just here so it, this is just come from elementor pro so if you have not elementor pro don't worry i'm just put the link in the description you can just download it and then just use it so elementor you have to must have the elementor pro because it is just elementor pro features that's why i'm just placing the lottie in the serve after the service name now here you can see the already animated icon is just here now just click on this drag and drop library and then if it is just automatically i'm just adding this three icons so i'm just placing one one more again to show you this is already set with three icons that's why it is doing showing just even click on insert media then you can see this just wow this is cool is automatically came so now i'm just giving the width to few pixel and then giving the width to nine just hundred pixel right i'm just giving it to hundred pixel fine now it's looking fine now come to the box shadow so i'm just clicking on this is just normal so i'm just not copying this so box shadow i'm just giving it at first just padding so i'm giving it to 20 pixel padding and then click on the mark just six dot icon and this so i'm just giving to this and then margin i'm giving it to 20 
now click on the style tab go to the border and this is the border shadow so now if I'm just writing vertically 20, 10 and that's giving you the 20 and then again spread will be 10 now just click on the color and that's giving it to I'm giving the point 1 like this so it is looking fine right now click on the border radius and I'm giving it to 10 pixel border radius it's looking cool so now just click on this copy also you can duplicate this just to you can duplicate this and then delete empty columns you can also do that also you can just click on the copy and then hover button icons and right color right click and then just paste it also you can just delete it so every anything any way you can just use it and then if i'm hovering so it will just button will be hovering and you can also add link add everything you can also do that and just click on update button and now if i'm just loading space here you can see the animated icons here so how to just change the icons everything just easy so if i'm just writing like this is a basket troll if you just click on this so i'm just clicking on this and then colors i'm just choosing this color again again i'm showing you just click on the colors again i'm just choosing this color click on apply it go to the down click on this download button click on download then go to this json lottie just click on download again and it will automatically download it here so you can see this automatically download here now just go to the elementary dashboard and then click on this and then go to the media file then just paste it so just drag and drop it paste it and then just click on insert media like image here you can see this is just cool now if you want to change the, this icon just click on this and then go to this and then i'm choosing like uh, this uh, this package cell just in insert media then you can see this automatic icon just came then just click on this update button then automatically just load it this is a preview so this is fine looking now if you just if you just load this page again just click on reload page so this is a click on reload page here you can see this is a cool icon just here so this is the icons animated icon box using elementor pro so if you have learned something new today so please subscribe this channel like this video to get more videos like this interesting videos e-commerce business landing page everything and if you want more videos so please just comment down below a good comment and like this video that if i'm just keep motivated for making the next video so if you want that you know, that your topic videos like like e-commerce videos or online stores or lms website everything you as you come as you wish so please comment down that you want so i'll just notice about that and make video later see you in the next video till then bye bye thanks for watching